This is my Thanksgiving inspired sugar tart, but honestly, it's good for any time of year. So this recipe is based off of a recipe I learned at culinary school in France, and then I decided to give it my own version, my own little twist, because I made it for American Thanksgiving. Hence, the sweet potatoes and hazelnuts, which you'll see in just a second. First, we're gonna start with our dough. Um, this is a yeasted dough that we made before, and I'm gonna just roll it out to put it on our baking dish. So what's cool about this tart having a yeasted dough is it just gives it more body. Um, it's gonna have more body, more volume, and I personally just like doughs with yeast. Maybe it's because I'm such a bread fan. All right, that looks good to put on our baking dish. Now we just want to crimp it around the edges. Okay, so now our crust is ready. We're gonna put it to the side. We want it to sit for about 20 minutes, so while that's doing its thing, let's move over to the filling. All right, so the filling is super simple. It's just butter, eggs, sugar, and milk. This dish in French is called tarte au sucre, which means sugar tart. So A, you know it's gonna be good, and B, there is a reason it's called sugar tart. Quite a bit of sugar. All right, so that is mixed well, and now we put it in the crust. And don't worry when you see the little chunks of butter in there, it doesn't fully incorporate until it's been baked, so no worries. And now I have my roasted sweet potato chunks, and I'm just gonna add that in the middle. And they're going to give this filling more substance and texture, and it's so, so delicious. All right, so now this is ready to go into the oven at 350 degrees for 40 to 50 minutes. All right, here we go, out of the oven. Now let's work on the topping. So we're gonna make a caramel. So we're gonna do four tablespoons of sugar to two tablespoons of water. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Overheat. You wanna stir it constantly. And you'll see the color totally change and it will form into caramel in front of your very eyes. Look at that. Okay, so now it's starting to change color and it will happen really pretty quickly. Oh yeah, okay. So once it gets to this stage, gets this really beautiful caramely color, that's, we're gonna, that's when we're gonna add in a little knob of butter, stir that in and I like to add a little bit of orange liqueur and cognac, such as Grand Marnier. Just a splash. Oi, oi, oh yeah. So nice. Okay, stir, stir, stir. Okay, so the flavor's there. And then add in our chopped up hazelnuts. Last step. All right, so now we want to drizzle this on top of our tart before it hardens but then it's gonna harden on top of the tart and add a really nice crunch when you actually serve it. Okay, let's dig in. One of the things I love about this is just how rustic it is, i.e. it doesn't have to look totally perfect. Oh my God, look at that. Sorry, this is, I'm like a proud mama. That looks so good, okay. Let's try it. I really like this. This is my kind of dessert. It's a French classic with a twist. As always guys, keep it quirky.